and this is your no bullshit review of some Oktoberfest beers. And I've seen a lot of videos out there as to the best Oktoberfest beer out in the market. These three usually come up in those discussions. So that's why we have these three right in front of you right now. Now I've already had these and I know which one I like. Likes. And which one I do not. And which one I could drink and it'd be all right. There's definitely one though that I'm not going to be buying again. So what three do we got? We got Ayenga, Hacke, and Palana. I don't know why I said it like that. So I got these three. These are the three that are most reviewed that I've seen. Uh, Spatten is another one. Uh, what, Warsteiner is another one. There's some other ones out in the market, but these three, when you type in Oktoberfest beers, you know, which one's the best, these three tend to come up the most. So that's why I went and got these to do the review today. Now, there's definitely one that I won't be getting again that I haven't had that I got for this review and I won't be buying again. And there's two that are almost interchangeable. So let's start with Ayinger, or Ayinga, or Ayinga, or this one. Now a lot of people just pour this like crazy and they'll get a big, you know, head on there and blah, 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 blah. I don't like all that. Just pour it slowly on a 45. get a reasonable head, nothing crazy, like that. That's what I believe it should look like. So let us test. Not a heavy mouthfeel. I don't know, it's underwhelming. It's just, it's just kind of underwhelming. It's not bold. Honestly, none of these are bold. Yeah, it's just not, it's not sudsy enough for me. I like sudsy, I like to feel the carbonation a little bit more. Authentic, authentic Bavarian Festival Lager, Ayinga. And now, Hacker, the one everyone seems to talk about. I'm not gonna show you the colors. All the other bullshit people do in these reviews. This is more golden colored than the Ayinga, but let's taste. It's brighter. The Ayinga is dingier. This is brighter. It feels more alive. Tastes like something's happening in your cup. I think the Ayinga you could drink more of, it's a little flatter. You can pound it more. Not that you want to do that, but you definitely do that. But the Hacker, flavor profile wise, carbonation wise, I do enjoy more than the Ayinga. Now, let's look at the Palana. slowish pour. Now the Palana and the Hacker are extremely, extremely close in my books. They're close in color, they're close in taste. Honestly, even the freaking bottles look damn near the same. Seriously, I think they're the same bottle. It feels slightly brighter than the Hacker. Like an aftertaste with the Palana that you don't get with the Hacker. I'm not sure what that is. They're all bottles. You know, they're they're going head to head here, but there's definitely some sort of a different aftertaste with the Palana. So, what is my review here? Before we get into what my thoughts are, <clears throat> the Hacker is 5.8% alcohol. The Palana is 5.8% alcohol. 
and the Iyengar is 5.8% alcohol. So alcohol content wise, they are identical. Now, which one do I prefer? I prefer the Hacker. That's the one that I prefer at all of them. The one I think is interchangeable with Hacker somewhat is Polana. It is very, with minus that aftertaste, which I wouldn't call it bad, I just call it like a neutral-ish aftertaste. It's kind of metallic-like. I would say that that is pretty well, you know, you can almost interchange these two. The Ienga is definitely a different flavor, a different feel, different color. Um, there's a lot different with it, but it's not bad. If it was in your flavor profile, what you like, you'd probably buy a bunch of it. But for me, I like the Hacker. So, Hacker number one, Palan number two, Ienga number three, even though I've heard a lot of people say Ienga number one. So, that is my No Bullshit Review. It's a little longer than usual, and I tasted them in front of you, which I've never done before on No Bullshit Review. But I've been getting over a cold, I haven't been drinking these much. I had these three actually sitting in the uh, fridge, and they've been sitting there for a little while. I've been wanting to do this video, I haven't had time. Finally got some time, so I figured I'd sit down, drink these three, let you know what I think, and you can put it in your information bank for when you go to the beer store, liquor store, whatever. When you see these, you can have an idea of what my thoughts are on it. I'm not the ultimate end-all be-all of how things taste or my reviews or ratings. I think you should take uh, what everybody says and kind of put it in the information bank, taste it for yourself, and see what you think. So if you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. Uh, these three, which one do you prefer if you've had all three or even just two? And until uh, next time, later.